crawl your ass out of there. Tough man to get a hold of, Jeffrey. What do you want? Huh. It's not what I want. It's what you want. How bad you want it, because it is going to cost you. Can't show it to you right now. But it's about 5'5", five, five, 115 pounds, three or four of that just pure tit. Nice curly brown hair upstairs and down. Interested? Why? What is... Why? Why us? Bring him up here. Town of Bracket, Jeff. Two-bit shithole in the middle of nowhere. See the bank down there? A few minutes, you're gonna walk in, tell the manager you want an express wire in the amount of $90,000 from your bank account in Boston. Cash. How do I know she's still alive? Ow! Get off! Come on, Jeff. Need you to pay attention. Now, you see that building with the flagpole coming out the top of it? Yeah. That's the sheriff's station. There's exactly two cops in this town. One of them's pulling desk duty right now. The other one's on patrol in the foothills. About a minute ago, Billy here called in an accident on the I-40 connector. See? There he goes. It's gonna take about 20 minutes for that cracker to get out to the connector, another 10 minutes to see there's no accident, another 20 minutes to get back in. That's 50 minutes. That is exactly the amount of time you have to get me my money. Now, before you get any half-baked ideas about calling in the cavalry, just remember we're gonna be watching you every step of the way, and we're gonna be listening on those scanners. And if we see anything unusual, an unmarked car, a plane, one human being who even smells like a cop, well, you can just keep your fucking money, Jeff. And I'll send you pieces of her from time to time. Billy, give him the jacket. Well, go on, put it on, Jeff. Can't go into a bank looking like that now, can you? We don't have to do this because I can get you that money, I swear to God. I promise you, just let my wife go, please. 49 minutes, Jeff. Time to get the show on the road. <laughs> 